see, it is 5.58 p.m. here in southern New Jersey. And I am Timothy Ryan Scully, and this is Ryan's Video Game Reviews. I am also known as Ryan, and I review video games, and I am being redundant. And today, I'm going to do an active critique of the game Thief. Was an active critique, you say? Basically, it's a video game review slash let's play. I'm going to be acting like PewDiePie, but instead of just ranting and raving and making you giggle, I'm going to make you think. I am going to make you think about whether or not this game is worth buying in real life, and you will listen to my sexy voice as I guide you through the game Thief. And this is a reboot of a very old classic game that originally came from the PC. It invented the stealth genre, and as you can imagine, it's about a thief who wants to steal goods from European people in the Middle Ages. So let's get started. Okay, any button? Oops, hold on. There we go. Alright, uh, it's loading, loading, loading. Uses an also a feature. Yeah, yeah, I know what an also a feature is. Okay, please just spray this in your so this logo is better than visible. Ooh, I can't even see the logo. So, let's see now. Alright, better do this uh, quickly. Um, you know what? Let's just do this the way it is. Alright, thanks for email. Your email. Uh, file to a Square Enix account. Uh, well, this is a little unsettling. Uh, okay. You know, I'm not gonna even connect it here. I'm just gonna make a new game and just play. Um, the fact that it asks for your information right off the bat is a clear sign that the times they are changing. It seems these days that you can't even play a video game without somebody asking for some type of personal ID. Welcome to the Worldwide 1984. Alright. Current slot empty. Okay, we got Rogue Thief Master Custom. A hard time for dedicated to everything. So you basically got easy, intermediate, hard, and personal. Ooh, custom. Let's see what this does. Oh, I see. It's a base difficulty. And you can uh, adjust things like chapter saves only. No focus. This focus is completely disabled. No focus points are earned. Stealth takedowns only. You cannot perform combat takedowns or takedowns from above. No reticule. Special arrows only. Only blunt, water, fire, and rope arrows are available. So basically, you don't just have the easy to the intermediate to the hard. You can adjust the more specific details. But I'm just going to do thief. I'm just going to do regular thief without anything fancy. Alright, you will not be able to change the clip to the new game. Are you sure you want to continue? Yes, and that is a little odd that they choose to do that. It may just be due to the fact that it's harder to program or reprogram a game rather than actually... Oh, hello, Dan! My friend Dan is back. If you saw him in the last Titanfall, you uh, are familiar with Dan. He's a programmer. Made a 3D game out of a 2D engine. One you probably heard of, Game Maker. If you're in the uh, video game design circuit, you definitely heard of it, and you should have heard of Dan. If not, shame on you. Hold on while I say hi here. Okay, clicky, hi. Hello! 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 Alright. So we got a cinema going on here. We got... There's one thing the city's taught me. You can put a price on anything. Secrets, reputations, a life, and trust. A death. If you have to ask, you can't afford it. But then I suppose none of that matters when you're me. After all, when did I ever pay for anything? <clears throat> okay, that's cool. That's interesting. I like how it went from zooming out from this angle here to first person mode around here. Unfortunately, it doesn't give you much in the way of tutorial, so if you've never played a first person game, then you might 
be a little odd or at odds here. Although it does do a nice job of backing you into a corner, making sure that you can't do anything stupid right off the bat. So maybe I should shut up and just play the game. Okay, I thought this guy was dead, but apparently he's just drunk off of his little behind. Um, apparently this is going for... What's the rating of this game? Ah, who cares? Let's play. Boop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doo. Going around, going around, going around. What's this? Oh, X. Wonder what button to press. <coughs> Swink. Swank. Like any other game, you can collect loot. And this is a few one of the few games that actually acknowledges it as stealing. Gee, that's a new concept. Alright, and too much light. We go. Let's make it yeah, a little more cozy in here. Do, 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 do. Is there anything else I can steal here? Come on. I got Clintomania here. Alright, and I like how it pretty much encourages you to climb with just a subtle little glint and a press of the button. And I really do feel like I'm robbing someone's house here. If this wasn't medieval time, I'd ask somebody to call the cops. Right? Right? Oh, whatever. Alright, so press LT to climb low obstacles. Unfortunately, it went from using fairly simple, fairly easy, very, very, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, Basically, it's teaching you how to do it by telling you rather than letting you do it yourself. It started off by pretty much putting you in a corner, which is what a good tutorial does. So you have only one way to go, and that way is the way you need to go. And then you just learn on your own. But here, it pretty much just tells you exactly what to do with a button prompt. With only thing worse is a quick time event, which is basically substituting interactive gameplay with... Uh, a movie that needs a button prop just to play. And a uh, good example here is it says hold X. So it's basically just laying out instructions so you have to uh, read it to know what you're doing. But the fact is if you don't know what you're doing and you don't want to explore, why are you playing the game in the first place? You're basically just asking the game to hold your hand, which is not something that most gamers, especially experienced gamers like me, want to do. So I uh, hold X and see what happens. Okay, this is interesting. The animation pretty much spans the camera around, which simulates observation. That's actually pretty good. On a bridge attic. Oh, I like that little bottom left uh, exposition. It makes me feel like I'm watching a movie or a music video. Okay, I'm not seeing a lot of color variation here, but the glaze on a lot of these cages look pretty decent. Telescope looks realistic. Okay, so sudden movements in the birds were disturbing anyone nearby. So this is the stealth tutorial. It's teaching you how to sneak and move Something slowly. Like lover. that's so hard. That painting's more my taste. I should take a closer look. And it says X. Use LS to feel the resistance. Trigger them. So pull switch. Oh, I see. That's the so you can't feel it from here, but it actually vibrates when you feel something, and it fills that little circle. So when the circle's full and you feel something with the vibration, you pull the switch. Secret compartment with a safe, no doubt. All right, pick the lock. Come on. All right, and we got the same mechanic. That's actually an interesting mechanic. It's using more than just your sight in order to check for something. And we're going to get more into that when I review uh, a very obscure game. But that's later down the road. So, feeling, feeling, feeling. Feeling, feeling, feeling. And I picked the lock. Alright. Open sesame. And hello, Ruby. Yes. What the? Still a little pale though. Uh oh. Here we go. Well, they do call the rooftops the thieves hiding. I just hope that's not who I think it is. Okay. That 
is actually good theatrics. Now let's see here. Oh, I see. Gotta do the left trigger. Do, do, do. So left trigger is basically climb, and right trigger is basically search and explore. All right, so I got to uh, go to my inventory, get the rope arrow, which is like a grappling hook, or to fire rope arrow at the anchor beam above you. Right, and you can hold RS so it can pretty much point your camera in the right direction. So they tried to make this game idiot-proof as possible, at least in the beginning, which makes sense. All right. <laughs> There we go. So, again, left trigger basically just climbs, and right trigger basically just pulls the switch. And. Aaron. Of course it is. Care to make a little more noise next time? How else would you know it was me? Basso did tell you we were working together on this, right? Well, I showed up, so what do you think? <laughs> I think you haven't changed a bit. Come on, it'll be just like old times. Alright, so I guess I gotta follow the chick. Alright, so LT is basically parkour. You climb, you jump, you swing. Okay, it's pretty fluid. I'm having an easy time keeping up with her. Yeah, I guess Mirror's Edge is the new standard for movement. Glad you could make it. Did you pick that route because it was fast or because you thought it'd be fun? Can it be both? Come on, let's get Basso his commission. All right, so we got a light gem. Okay, so that's basically your light detector. I'm going to be doing the Sam Fisher in uh, Splinter Cell, where I basically have to hide in the darkness so people can't see me. And that pretty much lets me know how illuminated I am. So when the game glitches, I can still tell that I'm either visible or not, because apparently the graphics aren't sophisticated enough to let you know by sight. Whatever. All right, sneaky, sneaky. Are you going to use any of those shadows, Lady Lamplight? I was just scouting. I know you always like to go first. <laughs> Corners to peek around. Interesting. All right, so this is the lead mechanic that you guys probably detect from freaking what you call it, Dishonored. The one that I was disappointed about. If you read the review on my blogger site, you know what I'm talking about. You should about. get yourself one of these. See you on the other side. Looks like I won't be going that way. Let's finish unloading before summer's day is over. Why not drink to a job well done first? We, we can't just leave the cart out here. It's festival time. Your average thief will be under a table in an alehouse. And the watch will be liquored up too. I'm not haggling fines with a drunk guard again. Well, this is a uh, old trick. Basically, I'm listening to story and dialogue through people who don't even know I'm there. That's something Splinter Cell did. Although, for all I know, Thief probably did it first. Unfortunately, I never played the first Thief game. I know, I know. You can shame me, indie gamers. But the truth is, even a veteran like Garrett, me doesn't play on. everything. Jealous of the claw? I made it myself. I'm sure the watch will be very impressed. They'll certainly hear us coming. They'll have to catch me first. Just be aware of your surroundings. It's not about taking in the sights, Garrett. It's about taking in the loot. <laughs> you do oh. still steal, right? I've been stealing since before you could crawl. <sighs> There's the Garrett I know. How about a friendly wager? Let's see who can take in the most. Alright. Oh, and uh. Right button is the blackjack. I can knock people out, apparently. Alright. Do, 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 do. Downward, downward. Okay, this is very straightforward. The chick pretty Look much guides you. You and me out on the town? Why did we stop doing this again? Do you really need to ask? Uh, and the guy's being gruff. Like, so far, I'm seeing a lot of. <laughs> cliches from pretty much any game you would play these days. P 
peer through the door keyholes. So yeah, we're Please even doing the peer profile through. in places where I'm not welcome. There's yeah, this isn't the sonar 